Hey guys, and welcome to my 10th Let's Play, which is Little Big Adventure for the PS1. A game series that's very close to my heart. Um, the second game was actually my first game ever. Uh, speaking of that, I just want to say a quick thanks to Queef. I think that's his name is. I'll put it in the description to his channel, but um, I want to say a big thanks to him because my original intention for this LP was supposed to be Little, bit, little Big Adventure 2 for the PC. However, it is such a bitch to record. And I got a, like a caption uh, software on a computer and everything like that. And Queef actually helped me set it up. Um, let's go in the options here. I'll turn the music volume up. Um, actually, I better turn my TV volume a t down a bit. Down a tad. Um, and oh my god, this music is amazing. But anyway, I'll start using over this game in a minute once I've explained that. Um, yeah, big thanks to Queef, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, he helped me and everything. And. Um, he gave me lots of tips, and basically I did get it working somewhat, but I think my laptop was just too old and shit to like process all the data streaming and whatever it's got to do. So I couldn't actually get like more than a five minute second, five seconds, sorry, five second recording of the Wii Adventure 2. So I decided to go with my original plan of doing LBA1 instead, which is this game here. And I just want to say a quick um, hello to all the people that have come to see their childhood memories. You will love this Let's Play. Well, I hope you will anyway. <laughs> um, and for my subscribers, you've probably not really heard of this game. I mean, I've talked about it you know, a few times, but not that much. But yeah, finally, we're going to get to see what all the fuss is about. So anyway, though, let's put in our name here. Now, this doesn't mean it's going to be the name of your character. You will ha still have the default character name. Um, but anyway. Winsun is a relatively new planet on the outskirts of a remote galaxy. Its rotational plane has stabilized between two suns. There is a huge mountain range running along its equator that divides the planet in half. Each hemisphere is warmed by a single sun. The northern hemisphere, with its orange sky, is warmer than the southern hemisphere. Except for a polar region, the planet's climate is clement. The formation of life forms on the planet was thus favorable. Four species developed over the course of the centuries. The spheros, the rabbi bunnies, the quetches, and the grobos. They all lived in harmony until a tyrant named Dr. Funfrock reared his ugly head. Ever since Funfrock's rise to power, the population has been living under a reign of terror. Funfrock set up a police state where suspicion is omnipresent. He is all-powerful and controls the people with an iron fist. He has at his disposal two high-tech weapons that ensure his power, cloning and teleportation. He can clone any of the species at will and subsequently recruit these clones into his ranks. He can then deploy these clones instantly through a network of telepods that are dispersed over the entire planet. A few years ago, under the guise of protecting the population, Dr. Funfrock herded the planet's habitants into the southern hemisphere. The repression is harsh. Every day brings more and more arrests, and the people slowly begin to lose hope. In an effort to keep their spirits up, the people sometimes evoke an ancient legend along with the name of a goddess, Sendel. The mentioning of the legend, or Sendel, has since been forbidden by Dr. Funfrock. Meanwhile, a young quetch named Twinson has been having strange dreams. So here we are in prison. 
Now, it's not actually made clear why we're in prison at the moment, but I think that becomes a bit clearer a bit later. Anyway though, here we are, um, in prison, as I just said. Uh, now, I'm going to explain the controls in a minute, because at the moment we're going to have to get out of here pretty quickly, and to do that, we have to beat this guy up. So... Stop squirming, prisoner Twinson. Um, no, and- Oh, shit, you little bastard! Come back here! Oh, crap, I stood under the platform. That's a bit, um, of a problem with the isometric view. Um, you can't really- It's not a lot of depth perception. Your only friend is the shadows, really. But, anyway, we've got f four modes here of, um, mood, I suppose. We've got normal, which is walking, and you can press square to, uh, get stuff out of sh uh, containers and shelves, like hearts and, uh, money and stuff. you got athletic, which is the most used one in the game, where you'll be running... Uh, squares to jump, um, and you press square again to um, stop mid jump, like that. Aggressive is to fight and is to combat really, um, with fists and kicks and stuff. So let's just beat this guy up here. La 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 la! Right, come here. Right, got to wait. Quickly get back on this platform because it'll rise back up. And we have the screen. Now this is to sneak around, and you press square to do a little crouch down thing. But I really don't see any point in the game when you're actually supposed to use that function. So anyway, though. Um, now we're over here. Let's just jump off here. And, right. Alright, so now what you're going to quickly want to do is head over here, kill this guy. Because that guy has, like, some baton thing or something like that. Uh, come here. I don't think he can actually hurt you, but kill him anyway. Uh, get that key. And the bit, main aim of this bit here to get out of the prison is you do not... You do not... <laughs> I want to stress this enough, but... Um, you do not want to uh, get let any guards touch that button. Uh, or anything that looks like that, the thing that I'm looking at now. Not the wall, the thing above it. Um, because that will activate a Super Grobo. And Grobos look like a bit like elephants in this game, so you'll know what I mean. Let's just head through here. Um, now, these guys, they are invincible, I do believe. And they shoot something that homes in on you. Um, and it will always put you back in prison. Uh, it knocks you out straight away. So, the most overpowered enemies in the game. I know it's a bit early to uh, be introducing them, but yeah, make sure they do not touch any of them red buttons. Uh, anyway, if we head in here, a prisoner has escaped. Sound the alarm. I don't think we actually have to go in here, but we might as well kill him anyway. Come here, you little bastard. And buddy, he flies back, eh? <laughs> Loads, doesn't he? Come on, Twinson, kick his ass. Right, there we go. Um, anyway, this is actually the PS1 version of the game, so if you come back to live your channel memories, you're probably wondering why it isn't the PC version. Now, I actually played Little Big Adventure 2 um, before this game. I played this game for the first time last year. Um... And I wanted to get the PS1 version because it was a physical copy. Um, and plus, one of the main differences between the versions is in the PC version, I don't know why they did this, but if you run into a wall or even touch a wall in the PC version, you get hurt and fly back and um, flinch, basically. It's really annoying. Um, now, they actually removed it in this version. I don't know why they wanted to put it in. I think they said because it wanted to be more realistic, but I don't see how it makes sense. But anyway, if we go behind here, we'll be able to get a guard uniform on so we can get in disguise. Um, and also, if you get put back in prison, you can actually come to this locker here and get your stuff back. So we got our ID card and our hollow map. Okay. Um, if we go onto our, our select screen, we have our hollow map, we have our ID card, which in my first playthrough I can't actually remember using. Um, and we get a lucky clover leaf because we actually get the hollow map in. We can actually get it if, in a few areas in the game, I think. So. Anyway though, we point, press X here, sorry, uh, we have the planet here. Now, at the moment we're only on Citadel Island, and the map, to be honest, isn't too useful, because you can't really zoom in or anything like that, so that could be a bit annoying, but it's helpful to see where you want, well, where you need to go. Um, but yeah, back to PC differences. Um, the PS1 game has, obviously, none of that uh, bashing into walls nonsense. It has, um, actually, I think there's a Super Grobo down here, be able to see one. Yeah, it's there, so if you open that door, my god, it's going to get you, and do, yeah, do not open that door. It will, for some reason, they're so overpowered that their bullets or whatever they shoot out, they they go through walls, and they will get you, no matter where you are, unless you get out of the area. Now, if we head up here, um, right, okay, so, what we're going to want to do here is just walk out, as normal, and you're going to want to beat this guy up as soon as you can, because he stood right next to this button. And if he gets it, that Super Grobo will transport out of one of the teleportation pod things, which are those light uh, white things there, um, in the corner, and it will get you. So we get this key here, and let's get out of prison. Out we go. Um, and I will start cutting out these uh, loading times like I did in my Harry Potter games. Um, 
but not at the moment. Um, also, controls, uh, if you didn't notice already, directional buttons to move. Analog support was not put in this game, which can make the controls a bit awkward sometimes. Excuse me, I'm a guard. Okay, fuck you then. Anyway, you're going to want to run away from these guys, because you can take them on if you want, but they will combo you. And a lot of enemies do combo you in this game, which is sort of a shame. Uh, but you can actually um, stop the combo in by just switching modes, because it'll stop you flinching. Anyway, we need to head over here. We talk to this rat thing. It's a rabbit bunny. Its official name is, anyway. Um, how's it going? Guy, I rummaged around here as there's no one guarding this place. I hide in the truck so that the guards won't see me. You just have to jump into the pile of garbage and be very discreet about it. <laughs> okay, that wasn't subtle. I don't know what it is. But anyway, i got to get, be discreet here and... You troll! Get back here now! Oh, I just have to wait for it to come over here again. Anyway, though, as, while I'm waiting for it, um... The, yeah, the, the PC differences, sorry. Again, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting a bit off track here. It's hard to explain everything in the first part because, you know... You stumble over words, and there's so much to it that you want to explain, but... Uh, first off, the PS1 has loading times, which I said I'll be cutting out, like my Harry Potter LPs. Um, the PC version, I don't think, actually does have loading times. If it does, they're in no way near as long as uh, the PC one... Uh, no, sorry, the PS1 version. Fuck me. Um, and, uh, let's see what else is there. In the last cutscene, there was actually music in the PS uh, in the PC version, sorry, but there isn't in the PS1 version, but I'll be actually um, manually putting it in. Um, in this game. Um, also, the graphics are choppier in the PS1 version. Um, and there was one more difference. I can't remember what it was, though. Um, oh, yeah, that's it. The uh, life meter actually isn't all on your screen. It's actually, uh, if you press control on the keyboard. Actually, uh, do we actually press square? You know what? We might actually have to do that. Alright. Um, but yeah, it'll all be in sort of a menu if you press control. Um, so, yeah, I suppose. That's alright, I guess, but the reason why I got the PS1 version is because um, I wanted a physical copy, and plus it was easier for me to record. Okay. Yes, alright. Oh, wait, yeah, so we did have to press square. Oh, right, that was easy then. So just get on the rubbish and press square, then I'll say that and do that, I guess. So, alright, this is actually my third playthrough of the game, but it's not a hugely long game, so I, I sort of do know what I'm doing. <laughs> there are very cryptic uh, puzzles in this game at some point. Actually, really meaner than the uh, second game because the, the second game don't really have cryptic puzzles. It's you know just figuring out where you need to go. Um, but something I do not I do prefer over in the second game. Actually, I prefer everything over in the second game to be honest, and that's mainly because of my nostalgia. But I do generally think everything was improved in the second game, um, apart from the main um, soundtrack. Well, the soundtrack was better in the second game, but I thought the main theme in this one was better. Um, anyway, though. Um, Voice acting is actually different in the second game, and it's improved a lot. In this game, Switch sounds a bit of a dopey retard, to be honest, no offence, but he does. Um, and some of the other voice acting isn't that great, but in the uh, second game, the gay, the guy, the gay, the guy who actually plays Twinson plays Rayman as well, so... Anyway though, we read this stuff here. 357G. A new automatic surveillance device is now operating in the city. All citizens must remain motionless if one of these devices is in their vicinity. Okay, I do apologise if my um, recording is lagging. It's, I think I've been, I need to update. I mean, the update came on just as I was... Uh, well, it would come on just as I was recording my first part for this LP. So, yeah. If you're new to my uh, videos, this can happen sometimes. And most probably there's going to be some sort of audio cut out. But anyway, I'll just cut ahead until um, it's actually stopped lagging. Okay, and it stopped lagging. So let's go over to this elephant thing, which is a grobo. And if we talk to him, um, how's it going? Hey, what are you doing there? Did you know that you can read the posters? All you have to do is move in front of one and use the action command while in normal mode. Well, thank you very much. So if we go to the other announcement. I don't think I read this one. The venerable Doctor Funfrock. The one who saved us from all the superstitions. I call bullshit. Um, now, I think we... Do we have to go in here? Uh, I don't think we have to, but we can. Uh, got a bunny here. Um, how's it going? Good day. <laughs> I can't open this chest with this blasted trick bag of mine. Oh, <laughs> give me a hand. And I'll let you keep so 
discover what's inside. All you have to do is move in front of the chest while in normal mode and use the action command. You can do the same for rummaging through lots of things like cupboards, garbage cans, etc. So yeah, he's going to teach us about that. Um, and ugh, please stop lagging, game. You're not doing... Well, it's not the like game, actually. It's my recording software. I really do not want to re-record this again. 25 caches, that's awesome. Uh, I think it's high reward, though. Good day. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, he's not going to say anything else. But yeah, there's some uh, funny voice acting in this game, I will say. Probably because it's, like, so bad at some points, but... Anyway, though. Uh, so where we have to go now is down here. We're going to want to try and get back to our house. That is the main uh, point of um, this bit here. Um, can we actually get on there? I think this is the tavern. No, it isn't. I don't think it is, actually. Is it the sewers? If you press normal and press square, you can actually activate that. Yeah, it's the sewers. Okay. If we go in here, we can actually get some goodies. I'll never say that word, but yeah, goodies. Uh, so let's go talk to this rabbit thing. Do what I do. Gather up the clover leaves and the boxes. You need one box to hold each clover leaf. Each clover leaf will give you another chance when you're in an extremely dangerous situation. So yeah, clover boxes are a bit like heart containers and clovers are lives. Uh, so the more clover boxes you have, the more lives you can obviously get. Um, I've got a clover box here. I do believe there are a maximum is six or five. I can't really remember, but we'll actually find out a bit later. But I will be getting them all, so don't worry about that. So we head up here and touch these mushroom things. I say what I don't know if there's in this game, but there was quite a lot of uh, mushroom, like magic mushroom references in the second game, which I didn't notice when I was a kid. Obviously, it went right over my head. Um, is there anything in these barrels? Anything? A heart? And nothing in that one. Okay, we don't really need hearts. Uh, let's jump over here and fail. Can I, do I actually? Yeah, I'm going to, have to jump over there, aren't I? Alright, there isn't actually a run and jump um, thing in this game, which is kind of annoying, but... Oh well. I'm actually bitching about the game a lot, I will say, because I assume it's good anyway, which it is. It's an amazing game, and I really need to get right on the edge of that. Um, but yeah, if you like anything you've seen here, you can actually go to goodoldgames.com and buy um, Little Big Adventure 1 for the PC. Um, or Little Big Adventure 2 for the PC as well. Little Big Adventure 2, I will say, is a better game, so... If you'd like anything you see here, you probably want to go with LBA2 if you uh, have got a limited budget. Um, and really, honestly, what is with my capture software? Uh, either way. Right, anyway, so, I think I'm going to leave it off here just so um, I can be safe and uh, probably not mess up the recording anymore. But anyway, if you want to save, you just go to start and go to the start menu and save game. I also think in the PC version you couldn't like save anywhere. If you go and save game, you could quick save it because if you lose all your lives, you will start from your last proper save. So quick saving is definitely um, recommend recommended. Sorry, and save game is just to properly save it, but it takes longer to save. Obviously, if you quick save, literally it just does that. That's quick saved it. But if you save it properly, you go on here, and if you go to slot available, you can see all my PS1 games there. If you pause the video. Um, you'll save the game, and obviously, like you said, it takes a bit longer, like that. But anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this first part, not much going on, but in the next part, we'll be heading back to our house and seeing what is going on. So I shall see you there.